Hello. Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Coming Soon. We are your hosts. I'm Jeff. I'm Ryan. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the the news of the day. Uh, we're going to talk to you, movie news of course, we're not going to weigh too, too much into politics. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, and... Uh, and then we're going to present uh, a new movie for you. We got a new, new new film on the docket for you today. I've come up with a little something something. Uh, I think it'll be a little little Halloween related. So I think Oh, we're, we're all right. Yeah. Fun. Let's get seasonal. Oh. Uh, yeah. So before we do that, uh, let's talk about uh, a couple topics. Um, what are you Ryan, what are you watching? Well, you know, speaking of spooky season. Uh Marvel's latest something. I don't know. I don't really understand how this ties into anything, but Werewolf by Night on Disney Plus. Okay. Have you watched it? No. How did you, like, come to be aware of it? Because I have... It's not on my radar whatsoever. Mm. I, like... I, I really saw a lot of, like, just absolute love for okay. it. Uh, and and I didn't know I was seeing it, and I was thinking it was a movie, like a, like a like an hour and a half, two hour movie. Um, didn't know it was Marvel. It's a based on a comic book, a Marvel comic book. Didn't know that. Uh, and it was I was on Disney Plus looking for something else, and I saw it there, and I'm like Disney Plus, and I see the like Marvel thing, and I'm like, what? So I watched it. It's very cool. It's great for spooky season time. Uh, I, 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 it has the Marvel, like the full intro and everything. I don't really know how it ties in. It was really cool. Okay. <laughs> it just seemed like <laughs> they just like dropped this on us out of absolutely nowhere. And I, I don't know if it's going to tie back in. There's a really cool monster in it that I really hope ties in. He's okay. cool. They're all cool. It's interesting. It just felt very. It did not feel like Marvel whatsoever. All right. Yeah. What? Well, so, did it feel? Because I, I feel like um, Moon Knight also did not tie into um, a lot of the uh, ongoing storylines in MCU. Did it feel like that, or did it feel even more removed? It felt even more different than Moon Knight because. You are you are correct there, but um, the action sequences and the um, chase and you know that that kind of uh, plot line that yeah. if, that Moon Knight follows it feels a lot like a lot of Marvel. This this was like to this was like complete. This felt like a uh, it wasn't a slasher movie, but it it felt like a standalone film that okay. had. And sorry, I, I say film. It was fifty five minutes. Yeah, uh, like a special. Yeah, really interesting. It, yeah, interesting it is. format to it, and and different, um, different from what we would expect from. Oh, absolutely. Marvel. It seems like they are starting to be a little bit more creative in the way that they put things out there, uh, what they put out, and when when and where they put it out. Um, yeah, which is which is interesting. Yeah, no, it definitely um, felt refreshing from the kind of stale taste in my mouth i have okay yeah marvel wise i i um i really liked she hulk um oh, i really yeah, liked uh -huh. she hulk and i and i thought um i thought that the ending was good i know you haven't finished it but there's yeah i'm not quite there i'm interested to hear your uh hear your take on the the ending because it okay I, I, it was very up and down for me mm. um I could probably give that to you soon because tomorrow all my coworkers are out of the office, so I'll be uh, staring at the, the old phone <laughs> for most of the day, so I'll probably catch up. No, that's, uh, that's always a, an exciting time. Yeah. I, I will check that out. I, and I don't, yeah. I, I legitimately know nothing about this thing. I know yeah. it is werewolf. There's a werewolf in it, apparently. By night. By night, and that's literally all I know. I don't know who's in it. I don't know what the kind of format is or anything. 
Oh, and it's going to, yeah, I mean, it's going to keep you there. Yeah, like you said, like, you know there's a werewolf, but, like, even that, it doesn't start out. I was looking for the werewolf for the longest time. Um, oh, okay. A little bait and switch action coming at you. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, it's very cool. I, I, I just, I'm so, I was, I'm so curious to, like, hear anything else about it. I feel like I, like, yeah. no other information. Anyway. Um Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. Do you are you watch anything else? Um uh, I had a I had a theatrical dry spell recently. Hadn't been able to get Dude, to the me, theater. Me too. And but it's gonna start to, to turn around. Uh I hope. Yeah. This this okay. weekend I'm going to see Ticket to Paradise and uh and something Oh like nice. That. Is that the is that the George Clooney and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Julie Roberts? Yeah. Yeah, I like was, I, the only name I was going to let myself say was um, Sandra Bullock. And I don't know why I get those crossed mm. in my head. but I yeah. think it's a similar era of a yeah. similar genre type movie. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but we did make it last week. We went to go see The, the Woman King starring Viola Davis. Okay. Who absolutely freaking brings it like oh my gosh she first of all they're like jacked like so it's um in in africa in the like mid 1800s um okay and they're they're basically trying to fight off the slave trade um and that's like yeah uh and there's this uh community that has an elite force of like amazonian soldiers type uh type army and Mm -hmm. they're all super sick they're all super viola davis is like buff and terrifying and um the have did you ever watch no time to die uh yeah i did um the 007 that's in that yeah uh she's in it um whoo it's very intense the action is intense um and it's and it's from a time period I feel like you, I, I don't really a time period and a setting in that time period specifically that I yeah. don't hear a lot about. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. So it was very in, very interesting. It was very cool. Um, there's a, some a broken bone scene that <laughs> sticks with me. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean Vi- Viola Davis's range of emotions in this is more than I've seen her have. And and a lot of other stuff. I think you are probably most familiar with her from uh, Suicide Squad. Well, yeah, but she's also she's in. Very um, wooden in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's definitely different than that. But she's um. We watched a uh, Nicholas Sparks movie that was she was in. Really, uh, Nicholas Sparks movie movies typically. Allow actors to to show off their range. Show off their full. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. This one was. This one was so stupid. This movie was. God, what was it called? Oh, it was like Knights in. Rodant. No. Yeah, something Rodant. What? What? House in Rodant. What was this movie called? I gotta look it up. We watched it. We 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 went to a uh, cabin. Uh couple weeks ago and um they had like an old dvd player and like dvd nice. and like movies to choose from and yeah. there was like a nicholas sparks box set <laughs> of stuff nice. so we watch oh, knights in rodan that's gotta be it that's that's gotta know. be it knights in yeah diane lane richard richard gear christopher maloney viola davis um this, this movie's this movie's ridiculous. This it it's this uh, uh, Diane Lane is getting divorced from Christopher Maloney, okay. and she goes up to watch over her friend Viola Davis's B and B like on the beach, um, and the only resident is Richard Gere, who's uh, um, you know, and they like, and he's on his way to go sit go to his son who's in South America, who's. Uh, James Franco, um, 
And so th there's like a hurricane and then like stuck there and they get, they spark up this romance and, you know, they love each other. Then he goes off to get James Franco and uh, they just like write letters back and forth to each other until he can come home. And it's all like excitement about building up for him to come home and, or mm -hmm. not home, like they come back and they get together and all that. There's a mudslide and he dies. Okay. Yeah. It's a Nicholas Farsman. Yeah. What, what's the point? Like they were the, the, the I don't know. I was like, are you kidding me? I, Why does he have to die? Hey, it seems like it made you feel something. and um, Anger is what it made me feel. I wouldn't say that that was a failure of a film. It made, it made you feel something. I didn't say I just think it's, it's, just, it's ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> it's stupid. So she's... <laughs> by the difference in that, and um, How to Get Away with Murder, I guess it's a similar... Uh, her role in How to Get Away with Murder... Um, is similar in intensity ish to uh suicide squad or her dc role mm -hmm. is this i'm assuming every dc movie she is in she is the same character including this new one uh, yes i believe i believe that's the okay case. That, that makes sense you never know with the the dc universe over there but anyway yeah, yeah. woman king go check it out intense go see it on the big screen um Good stuff. Um, very cool. And I Oscar worthy, I dare say. Violet Davis. Brings it. Sorry, I missed that last piece. What are you saying? Oh, uh, I was just saying Oscar worthy. Oh. But she brings it. She brings okay. it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Have you uh, been able to get to the theater? Uh, let's see. So I'm I, I'm kind of dry. You know, I, I yeah, went yeah. to see Don't Worry Darling. Um, mm -hmm. And then... After that, I saw I did. We did go see Amsterdam. Okay. Okay. Thoughts? Stacked cast. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Man, I Rami Mal just makes me uncomfortable. I can't. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let me let me yeah, yeah let yeah. me share my thoughts on the on the movie. Yes, I had a I had a I was entertained. Yeah, I was entertained. Uh, it didn't feel like the whole thing worked mm. great, mm. Um, but I had a good time. I had uh, I enjoyed watching these people on screen interact with each other. Mm. Uh, that seems to be against the norm of what the uh, critical consensus has been. Uh, so mm. maybe I'm just a, a normie, um, mm. but. Mm. I don't know. I, I thought it was fine. I think that there's um, backlash against uh, David R. Russell and his style and personal uh, mm. um, failings, I would say. Mm. Um, um, at the risk of sounding uninformed, uh, what's, he, what's, what's David R. Russell got going on? So apparently he's, he is a very uh, difficult director to work with on set. I think mm. he is um, quite um, verbally abusive, uh, uh, it, sound, it sounds like. Kubrick Which, type. Uh, yeah, wh what is, what confuses me about that is that he has a lot of actors who he works with repeatedly. Regularly. Right, like you mm. have, he, he's done three movies with uh, Christian Bale, three movies with, uh, I don't know if it's three, multiple movies with Jennifer Lawrence. I think he dated Jennifer Lawrence. Um, mm. Well, that's just that. And uh, Robert De Niro shows up in every single one of his movies. Mm. Uh, so it's really I, interesting. I will say yeah. that the recurrence of people like Christian Bale and Robert De Niro lend credence to him being uh maybe a eccentric difficult director because i feel like christian yeah. bale he can like 100 percent devote himself to a role yeah yeah and uh robert de niro's got that huge that's, ego that's fair no, so that's i can cool. see those that that group getting along but yeah. maybe not other people yeah but he obviously got enough people to sign on for this thing well uh, yeah i guess your movies make enough money, and it seems like after this one, uh, the jig might be up. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Which yeah. is so interesting to me because, like, 
especially opening weekend numbers. Yeah. They, they, there's a piece of it that's tied to reviews. There's got to be. But with a cast like that, there has to be enough excitement. And there's not enough known about the plot or the movie yet to make people be like, oh, I actively don't want to see that. So that's why I'm surprised it flops so hard. Yeah, it flopped it so bad. Like, fantastically. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't... I, I I don't know. We're still in a weird um, bubble post, um, post-pandemic. Yeah. People trying to figure out what their their movie theater going is. Uh, I feel like the marketing for this movie was baffling. But after seeing it, the movie was equally confused. Mm. Like, okay. it didn't know what it was. Uh, yeah. And it was like, is this, a, is this a spy thriller? Is this a slapstick? Is this slapsticky mm. comedy? Is this... Uh, is this a comedy, just a comedy of errors with a little bit of mm. uh, mostly drama with some comedy thrown in there? Yeah, it, and then the, the pacing was weird and the overall story was very confusing and, and mm. uh, overly complicated, it felt like. And mm. then there was a reveal at the end and the reveal felt like it kind of fell on its face a little bit. Um, mm. So... I wouldn't. Wow. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a combination of confused marketing, bad reviews, and like yeah. negative word of mouth. Yeah, I I am so curious about like marketing these days, mm -hmm. trailer wise, because yeah. it seems like consistently they're not helping. It's like with the with the Woman King. I saw a couple trailers for it, mm -hmm. and I think the trailers I saw were in theaters. Mm -hmm. Um, but like it's this grand epic. It's a long movie, mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I didn't really. There's movies in the past that you kind of feel like you have to see just based on how much people are talking about it preemptively before, and I feel like I'm getting that. I'm not getting that at all, except for Black Adam. But that's because Dwayne. It's the rock factor right there. Yeah. Um... No, there's a few trailers that like I did see the the Black Panther trailer and that looks oh yeah so oh, good. I, yeah I know I just that played when we were in the theater and I was like I cannot imagine that sucking but I really hope that doesn't suck yeah well yeah uh, so we are recording this on the day that Black Adam mm. comes out early reviews yeah. So, I I've I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I think Warner Brothers is uh, a a very complicated company right now, a very cash poor company right now with a lot mm. of debt that is unable to put movies out. They have straight up said they can only afford to mm. put out "Don't Worry, Darling" and "Black Adam" in the back half of twenty two, which is mm. crazy. Um, the guys there did... have been so many trailers for Black Adam, and it's this is the weirdest thing about this to me that they open with clips from other movies, completely unre oh. not completely unrelated. But if yeah. you look at the the trailers, uh, uh -huh. a lot of the trailers that I've been seeing have been shown clips of Justice League, clips of Aquaman, oh, okay. clips of I the Flash. Yeah, uh huh. Like, it's so weird. It's so weird that it's it's marketing itself based on movies that have been yeah. failures. Yeah. No, I they for their sake this can't flop. I they they it really can't. And didn't the Warner Brothers or is it DC creative head step down today? Oh, did he? Um, I think I was reading that today. Um, I don't remember if it's DC or Warner Brothers. Uh, let's see. There's, I know there's just been a ton of turnover. I, for so, well, DC, I DC, sorry, yeah, yeah DC Films President Walter Hamada has left Warner Brothers yesterday. 
Okay. Uh, what was at the, I, so you had the, the article up, it, is that something that has been in the works or was that something that like just, he just announced his stepping down? He has reportedly left the building. It's this guy after 15 years. Merger. Okay, however, according to Daily Show, it looks as though the company's new management following the Warner Brothers Discovery merger wants him out sooner. Okay, oh, so, oh, so oh, this oh, is yeah, something yeah. that has been announced and they are they are not, he they are kind of finally putting him putting him out to pasture. He has a contract right now that was renewed in 2021 and was supposed to go through 2023. But so I think a f- contract says 2023, but merger says hopefully earlier than 2023. Okay. Um, All right. Well, yeah. that's beyond the, yeah, yeah. the point right now. There's uh, there, there's no there's no leadership there that is uh, no. able to have cuz I, I did hear rumblings that they are looking for a Kevin Feige. Type. Yes. So yes. I would imagine that that would be a position that they would take if they do find yeah. that uh, if, czar of DC. If I'm Warner Brothers and I'm smart, I go after Luis Despacito because he is second. He, it's always executive producer Kevin Feige. The next one is also executive producer, and it's always Luis Despacito, Luis Despacito every single time, every single Marvel production. So if I'm them, I'm like, hey, you're going to be our Kevin Feige. You're going to be first. Everyone's going to know you. That's it. I'm I'm can, headhunting if I'm Warner Brothers. Can they can they pay uh, Disney Probably numbers? Not. Probably, Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Like even I would imagine that even the head of DC is paid less than the number two at Marvel. That's probably good. That's probably good. That's probably a good assumption. Going back to the reviews for it though, I've yes. never seen I probably have that. I may be. I'm probably exaggerating this, but I don't know. If I've seen such a huge discrepancy between the reviews that they have on the trailers and the reviews that come out. Because have you seen the reviews they have on the trailers? No. They're like Black Adam is a game changer. I mean, that's a cl- classic line. Right. Uh, classic. Dwayne Dwayne Johnson is mind blowing, mind blowing. Um, I love Dwayne. I, I think I think he's a great entrepreneur. I'm he's very great, happy for his success. He's an entertainer. He's fun. He's an entertainer, guys. He's not a dramatic actor. He's not. I love him, but mind blowing. There's you can't be like when these were coming out, and I'm reading these, and I'm like, okay, what if this is actually amazing? And then the thing, I think it still could wait, be. Take, you, take you, what if this is actually amazing based on yeah, the quotes they put in the trailer? No, well, there's a lot of them. Yeah, it's the not just the trailer. trailer. I see on, all of you, Dwayne you Johnson's watched the trailer stuff. and you thought this was going to be amazing. No, but I was. I, I just get so. I, I'm absorbed in Dwayne Johnson's charisma. Uh huh. <laughs> I was every trying other... to save my son. <laughs> and, and instead, I was riddled with these powers. They're not a gift, they're a curse. <laughs> Have you seen the one where he's like, one question? Can you fly? And then he throws them. But it's like, it's the, uh, I don't know why they can't figure this out. But like physics of these things, like you can be strong. Like in, like I get, like it's not physically possible because they're not that strong. But like that's even assuming they are. Like say they have superpowers. Just get the, just get the acceleration correct on when they throw things. Because it's like here and it immediately appears somewhere else. Uh, and it doesn't slow down correctly. It's the inertia that doesn't make sense. It just looks comical. He, he just goes like this, and it's like a little motion. He goes. Could like you that, um, could you say that sentence again? Yeah. It just looks comical. Oh man. Uh, but it's not supposed to. It's not supposed. They're not. They don't want it to. Um, I don't think. I think that's debatable. I think they don't want to. Yeah, man. I Maybe think they, they could be, they could be all yeah. about it. That's exactly what they want. Uh, um, anyway, it looks. It happens yeah. in other movies too. Like it, it. it yeah. Uh, not just. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess I got caught up. He had, he had me thinking it was possible. 
Uh, but who but knows? Just, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is not uh, no. the public. No, and I so. do agree with people saying that's like 15, 20 points higher if it's an MCU movie. Interesting. The Rotten Tomatoes score. Huh. Yeah. Because Rotten Tomatoes does have a uh, disdain for, I mean, yeah, it's not unfounded, but um, for the DCEU. Yeah. But is it, un yeah, like you said, it's, I wouldn't say it's unfounded. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. I just, I, I, like I said, love Dwayne. I hope you're listening. But get yourselves, like, look what, look at Marvel's. That's what I don't. Another thing I don't like about the new age of Marvel, mm -hmm. the look, look at the original crew. It came out of nowhere, or it came out of bad situations, like. Um, and now it's like, now they're Marvel, now they're the MCU, they can get whoever they want, so they bring in all these big name people for the new roles. Um, which can be good, it's not a bad thing. But, I don't know about that. No? Um, I would say, Maybe I would say for the, the most list. part, they're under, under known people. Like, mm. That's true, Jennifer Walters. Uh, uh, she Ho, yeah. She Ho, um, um Shang Chi, yeah. That's um, another one. Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, um, America Rodriguez, America Rodriguez. Yeah, I I get it. That's the comic name, but we have to save America. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> it's not. It's not open that wound. I was thinking about that the other day. The, um freaking multiverse of madness so we'll see so you're seeing uh black adam tomorrow yes seeing black adam tomorrow so i'll report back nice nice cool cool yeah maybe maybe Dwayne's gonna pull it out of the hat one can dream enough money and enough of his signature tequila you can do anything exactly put pour enough in there uh it'll make any movie good yeah Maybe I wonder if you give out samples of his tequila. Ooh, He's a big good. synergies guy. Yeah, big synergies guy. <laughs> uh, like, have you watched any of Young Rock? No. I <laughs> forgot about the existence of the Young Rock completely. Are you uh, a Young Rock guy? I've wa I watched the like first like three episodes as they came out. And then I was like, I can't really do this anymore. It's um, it's pretty painful. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Yeah, but you know, what else we got going on? That might be it for now, or do we have something else? No, I think that's. I think we're ready for another another classic adventure. I think I am. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go. So. Yes. Yes. For the occasion of Halloween, yes, I wanted to bring yes. to the table a, a little bit uh, higher, higher adrenaline. Oh, a okay. More of a Get thriller, a little thrill. A little bit okay. more of scary movie here. Okay, okay, okay. Are you gonna call it a horror or a uh, a dark thriller? I think that that is something for us to decide. I do ah. have kind of. Mm, mostly a framework i don't have too much in the in the details but i think we can suss this out together um and Excellent. well I'll, I'll address that in a, in a little bit um, my movie yes it's called oh. roanoke yes <laughs> yes Oh, man, it's about time someone made a movie about this settlement. Let's go. Okay, so that's exactly what I thought as well. I went and looked at... Uh, I, I went and looked for other adaptations of this, and, uh -huh. and I could find TV movies pretty uh -huh. cheaply made. Things. Yeah, History Channel uh, type stuff. Uh, so, it, it, But also, uh, I'm not sure if you watched... Uh, I think it was American Horror Story Season 6 uh, was American Horror Story Roanoke. I have not... But... Okay doesn't have it, it's like 
it's about a couple today who go and live oh. near there or something and like they film it's like a Blair Witch kind of yeah. documentary kind of thing so like uh, sorry but <laughs> all right yeah no I love it I'm already into it yeah so uh, this is this is this is a supernatural take. This is not uh, in uh -huh. any means supposed to be a speculative story. Um, mm. So we open with the the ship leaving to go mm. back to England for resupplies. This is mm -hmm. in the well mm -hmm. for anybody who is unaware of the the lost colony. Roanoke mm. is, was one of the first. Well, I think it was the first, supposed to be the first permanent English settlement. In the New World, I did not. I did not know that. Yes, yeah, yeah. about the being the first. Interesting. I believe so. I believe it okay. was the first. Uh, so in the cool. New World. I'll go oh, consult man. my fourth grade teacher out there. And they came uh, back after this. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's like, oh, the first one, everyone was just gone. So we're gonna try it again. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Uh, so the the. First English settlement in the New World. Uh, I believe that there were other, um, I think the Spaniards had uh, quite a mm. hold um, already. So there, uh, there was precedent to come back. Uh -huh. and there were resources to tap. And, you know. Okay. Uh, but uh, my, my story centers around the, the village after, uh, after the last resupply ship leaves in mm. 15... 80 something yeah um, not to return for another two years which uh, hmm. got dicey apparently so the the story of the of uh roanoke is is kind of unknown at this point they a supply ship leaves uh on this island off of the coast of today uh of, of north carolina um and then uh, they leave this colony um, alone to, to develop. Um, and then they come back two years later and there is no one to be found. There is one uh, clue left uh, that is a uh, carving in a tree or some pil pillar post or something um, mm -hmm. that says Croatone. And this is what, sorry? Croatone. Croatone. There was a um, uh, there was a nearby island. I believe there was a tribe uh, called Croatoan. So I'm not uh, entirely sure what that was referring to, what it meant, and there was never any um, anything that they could um, yeah come up with. So the idea is for this. Uh, for this uh, particular spooky season, I wanted mm -hmm. to come up with a little bit more of um, uh, a scary movie. So uh, I'm talking something supernatural happening uh -huh. uh, that that causes them to um, flee the, the colony or all disappear, something along those lines. And I wanted to talk to you about like what that what that looks like and what that would would be and Part of me wants to go in a direction of they left to go somewhere to protect something or go to do something other than the, uh, they want, I think, I think my desire is to make it so Croatone is a message that is uh, misleading. So it's something mm. that they will uh, uh, yes. say, people will see this and then they will think, okay, we yeah. went over to this uh, to be with this tribe, or we went over to this island as an as an alternative space. Something was happening here, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you're to, yeah. to hear your thoughts there. Um, well, what would have been pretty sick is uh, if you know how prey um, mm -hmm. was set in probably an early time. If the answer is a predator took out. If this was a predator prequel, um, which you're not, but no, I like I. So I think whatever you, I like the misdirection of Croatone. Um, and so a couple things popped in my head. One, this one I don't know if this even works, but it's like 
parallel university where they are there, but not in um, like everybody else's reality. They're in some, they're in the alternate reality. I don't know how that works exactly, uh, but that popped in my head. Um, do you uh, do you envision a creature of some kind? That Spectres. Was- That was my initial thought. um, Yeah. That there is some sort of creature that has um, inhabited these woods. Um, Yeah. Yeah, no, I I like that. And I... um, And do you have... Basically, everyone is essentially dead from the Roanoke um, colony? Or... They're hiding somewhere. Hmm. So I was thinking that they were hiding somewhere. Okay. They have yeah. relocated to an al- uh, alternate um, location. So maybe it's something uh, that is initially a scary thing. Yeah. Um, but it is actually something that inhabits this, uh, this island that uh, the settlers are um, pr- trying to protect and, and leave to their own devices. So they figure we give a cryptic message on, mm-hmm. uh, on a pillar somewhere, uh, mm-hmm. and then we all disappear from this, from this settlement. So they mm-hmm. go and they check this other place. We're not there. They see no one here and not like, it's not like they're all, there's just a bunch of bodies there. Right. It's, right. Uh, it's just, no trace. it's empty. So yeah. I'm wondering if they stumble upon something that is, like this island is their domain and they, they are just like, okay, we're going to remove ourselves from the situation and make sure that and nobody else stays here. Because mm-hmm. if, if we're all gone and they can't find any trace of us, they're probably going to leave this island alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what if uh, it starts by, like, a person is gone, mm-hmm. um, and they, like, it, like, they trickle out, and it's, like, a mystery as to why they're missing, uh, and maybe they eventually figure out why they're missing or where they're going. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's for a valid reason, like you were talking about. There's, a, We should not be inhabiting this area for whatever this reason is. And we should be gone. Yeah. Well, I think... Yeah, I think that's... What, what do you think about... Do you, do you want to delve this more? Or... Um, Make this our I, make this our three parter. I think we have so much to stew on with this yeah. that we can easily um, take our time with it to f- come back with some more, rather than just uh, sitting here pondering. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I think we have more more than enough to go on. Sweet. Very cool. Very cool. That's such an interesting. That's such an interesting story. Right. Um, I'm like so fascinated by that, and and the fact that we don't know. Like we just we still no. have no idea. There's no evidence of what no. actually, yeah, happened. That, that that's uh, funny. Like somebody puts Croton to like throw them off the scent, and people are like, "Oh, they're gonna assume that we all went to, um, or we were taken or whatever by, by them." And they're like, "Well, we know that's <laughs> not it." <laughs> Beats me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, and especially because like two years, yeah, it sounds like a lot to us. But in that day and age, it took so long to do. It, like, what? How many months is it to just sail from? Yeah, exactly. In, across the pond, just like, and then like getting anywhere, especially in a big group, took days, weeks, months to do. So, it's it's not easy for somebody to just park a van out in front of Roanoke and have everyone get in the car and go like right. this. The fact that nobody was left behind and nothing was really left behind, like, um, is so interesting. Yeah. 
Dude. So interesting. Uh, wow. Awesome. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to think about this and to research it because obviously I'm going to be doing a little Googling. Yeah. Uh, learn more about it because this is really an interesting historical event. Phenomenon? Who knows? Tail. Tail. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, cool, cool, cool. Does that mean uh, you're ready for a connection? I would be, yeah. What you got yeah. for me? Um, I would like for you to connect for me Marlon Brando. Okay. And Will Ferrell. Marlon Brando is in The Godfather with Al Pacino, who is in Heat with Robert De Niro. I didn't want to use both Godfathers. Who is in Heat with oh. <laughs> uh, Robert De Niro. Uh, who is in Meet the Parents with Ben Stiller, who is in Zoolander <sighs> with Will Ferrell. Dang, well done. Darn it. Darn it. I didn't think about um I didn't think about Godfather. Darn it. Y yeah. Idiot. I know. What Robert De Niro and Al Pacino's like comedic turn towards the end is Jack like, and Jill. Yeah. It, <laughs> uh, yeah. <exactly. laughs> the the, the Dunkachino. <laughs> Dunkachino, baby. <laughs> Burn this. Do you remember I don't think I ever watched that movie, but like the last scene, I don't know. They like own a Dunkin' Donuts or something. Uh, and uh, Al Pacino does like a commercial and there's this big new musical number uh, for the Dunkin' 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 Chino. And uh, at the end, they finish watching it and he like pauses it and Al Pacino's like, burn this. <laughs> He's wearing like a suit and the jacket's like inlaid with the donut pattern. Oh, it's good. Well, God, what did you I think I, I had Marlon Brando is in Apocalypse Now okay. with Harrison Ford. People forget. He's got yeah, a tiny forget. role. Uh, and um, Harrison Ford is in uh, Anchorman 2 with Will Ferrell. Oh. Yeah. I feel like a stallion again. <laughs> <sighs> You're fired. Werewolves. Werewolves. Oh, and uh, apparently Harrison Ford, the, I I had come up with this th this connection earlier in the day, mm -hmm. uh, and then you sent the thing about Harrison Ford not the, uh, not too long ago. Uh, Harrison Ford doesn't like Ewoks. I think a lot of people don't like Ewoks. What? Yeah. I thought they were a beloved ca creature. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they what? were the Jar Jar Binks of the... Uh... Of the original really? Trilogy. I thought they were beloved. Is that the case? Well, comment. Comment below. Subscribe yeah. and comment. Yeah. What are your takes on Ewoks? The adorable bears of Endor. Now, I don't... like what, what. It's a creature in outer space. There's tons of creatures. Well, why is this one bad? No? I don't know, man. I, I think that uh, Star Wars fans are hard to satisfy. They are. That they are. Um, that's a good point. Speaking of Star Wars, how far are you on um, Lego Star Wars? Because I'm like not even. I, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've got quite a ways to go. I yeah. Uh, I would like never be done playing this game. There's no. there's no way I can get to 100. percent Yeah, I, I'm. I finished. I finished all the levels, and I've like fit, completed some of the worlds. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but I'm. I going through still and finishing getting 100% on the levels. Yeah, uh, I haven't even done that. I'm looking for Kyber Bricks. Maybe. This one's a real beast. Yeah, yeah. God, it's just open world. Yeah. There's so much. It's staggering. Well done. Excellent well done. job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, I think, I think that's going to do it for us, right? I think it is going to do it for us today. Thank you guys so much. For coming today, tonight, this morning, whenever it is greatly. that you're here, we, we greatly, 
great. It's just uh, without words. Appreciate you. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We did. I hope you're getting excited for Roanoke. Coming to you not soon on Not Coming Soon. Have a terrific night. I have been Ryan. I have been Jeff. And we're going to catch you next time on our little show here. Adios. Please, <laughs> if you're if you're actually watching or, or yeah, listening. Yeah, please. You know, please drop a like on a on a letterboxed review. Ah, yeah. Do what yeah, you gotta I gotta, do. Reach I, out I to us. Back into that. Let us know. Yeah, we're just people. <laughs> we put we, we put, put our, our pants on the same way you do it each One morning at a time. Yeah. So actually, just sometimes start. I like to go on the bed and put both both in yeah. at the same time. Okay. Well, Jeffrey's not a person then.